Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Toast to Queen Victoria. <laughs> this is to Queen Victoria. To Queen Victoria. To Queen Victoria. <laughs> the Victorian Tea Party is meant to imitate what an afternoon tea would be. Uh, the way that people would gather, mostly women, though we do invite men and women to our events. The kinds of parlor games they would play, the songs they would have sang, we recreate that afternoon so that people can come and escape from the modern day into a Victorian tea room for an hour. Uh, the Victorian tea event that we're doing today is very similar to the way people would have had a Victorian tea. Oh my dearest, and my <gasps> old! <laughs> Not only am I your dearest friend, but I'm your oldest friend. I do work with another actor, someone very talented, Anjanette Billings, and she interacts with me, we bicker, we tell jokes, and people enjoy handmade uh, savories, sandwiches, desserts, and of course, tea. What we're playing today is called Pass the Parcel. It's very similar to Hot Potato, except as the item goes around, you unwrap a layer on the item and it gives you some direction. So it could tell you to make a silly face, it could tell you to go hug somebody, it could tell you to toast Queen Victoria, and of course you stop and you do it and then the package continues to go around. The person holding the package at the end gets to keep the prize inside. I love the game. I thought it was very imaginative, very simple, but very uh, bringing you to think about things, um, to sing a song or to tell a, a story, um, to give the queen a toast. Yeah, that was so much fun. It was really a lot of fun. And we're going to probably steal the game for our, our parties our now. Friends. When you go to a restaurant, which is what we do now for entertainment, you just sit with your own little group and you don't get to know any of the strangers in your room. And this was so different because for me the highlight was getting to know these lovely women here. Uh, I actually researched what kinds of foods that we would have served and in an afternoon tea. A lot of people confuse it and call it high tea, though it's really afternoon tea as hybrid people would never have had high tea. They would only have had afternoon tea. So I serve uh, finger sandwiches. I do cucumber sandwiches. I also serve brownies because who doesn't love a brownie? It's usually some kind of cookie. Today it's rugala. I am also serving tea biscuits because what's tea without a tea biscuit? I do look stunning on your dress. And it would be quite a shame to leave and you know, not show it off, you know? We always welcome people to get dressed up and encourage people to get dressed up, but they very seldom do. Every once in a while someone will come with a big Victorian hat and we get very excited, but it's not common. Though we always encourage people to dress up. If somebody has a talent, like they, they like to sing, we give them an opportunity to sing. We've had people do magic tricks, people tell jokes, people tell stories in the middle of our show and it just adds so much to it for everybody's enjoyment. It is the chord in the music that's missed when my voice is away. The costumes were fun to look at. The the stories were fun, and we had this very special lady over here, this hidden talent that I didn't know existed, so it was a, a nice addition. Two lonely five men and no other men in the world. I think I expected more that we'd be standing around, just milling around, and talking to people, I didn't realize it would be a whole, very organized program. And this was very, very fantastic because it did, it took you away into another time period and gave you a, a sense of um, not being so rushed and, and a sense of meeting new people in a very pleasant atmosphere. <laughs>